the weakest will probably die anyway. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm okay with live wire. With live wire, it's fine. Oh yeah, so it goes from two to seven percent. I'm, I'm right. Okay. Okay. I suppose if you if you, if you keep in live wire, you're kind of expecting people to be in your face then, <laughs> which the next assassin definitely will. Gyro might be also. Storm Spirit's most likely going to be right next to you. Sure, sure. Oh, oh no. All right, the boss comes out. Okay, Winter Bears. Hope everything's all right. They really, they've really exhausted our patience today, haven't they? I mean, they're making up for game number one. You know, there's mm. game number one, nice and speedy, nice and smooth. Now they're like, ah, let's throw a spanner in the works. <laughs> yeah. They're trying to play out because if they win this series, Tomo, they're going to have to play again three consecutive series. So they're trying to space it out, you know, give themselves a bit of breathing room, a bit of break. Actually, no, Winter Bears doesn't because they, they are, uh, they only have to play this game and one more. So I thought they... we talked about Rogue Oh, no, we were talking about Winter Bears. Oh, well, that got lost in translation, mate. Yeah, no, these, these things happen. Okay, these things happen. All right, in terms of all the other, um, what we call it, facets, they're all the ones they expect. There's Bodyguard of Marcy, which is cool, you know? One thing I've been noticing, some people uh, on the Storm Spirit have been taking the other facets, which is when you hit someone. Oh, Poison's doubling his rank. Nicely done. Oh. Poison needs to be careful. Oh, oh Poison he knows. And oh, with the five man stun. And he's able to get himself back onto the tower. But still, they're playing very aggressive here for Rogue uh, Squad. They're going to kill Phoenix. Still, and he's actually going to go down. Pegasus with the first blood. Check Chili, though, is probably going to lose his life as well as Pegasus. So it is a two for one exchange. But first blood gain, Asando oh. is pursuing for more. Man just gets done, the right clicks all they need, and it's a three for one. So that first blood does not make up for all these kills. They also get a D ward through. Winter Bears are very happy with that. By the way, he knew that was happening. He stood there like he didn't know because he put the ward earlier. Then they put the ward, he's like, oh, they're coming for me. The team is able to show up in time, and we caught all the action. Winter Bears, beautiful start for them. And uh, yeah. by the way, Phoenix is such a god in these early fights because throwing out the fire spirits does so much. Looks like it's gonna be a three for one in favor of Winter Bears as well. Yes, Dying Light's also pretty good. <laughs> eh, it's fine. <laughs> I think this is uh, I think this is the first game that we've cast the Winter Bears where they've had their full squad as well because I believe Kinga was he wasn't yes. here yesterday. I think they had a stand in for him. Was that Winter Bears or was that Mansaf? Oh, I thought it was Winter Bears. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. maybe it was both. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, it was Mansaf. They they weren't playing with Meg Megaway. Oh yeah, that was it. Yeah, all right. Come on. Yeah, don't, don't, you're not pulling. You're not gonna pull a fast one on me. Well, I, I thought the fact that I got it wrong is a slow one. You know, it's a good brain lag. As I was looking at the name Kinga, I was like, it doesn't sound familiar. Who's, who's that guy? Uh, Assassin's taken. A bit of a beating here from his younger brother. You you have a brother? Uh, I have two, and they're both older than me. Uh, have you ever kicked their asses? Uh, tried to, and I always winched my mum like they were kicking my ass. You know, <laughs> I always got them in trouble. That's the that's the good thing about being the youngest. <laughs> that, that is nice, right? It's like I may not be able to beat you. Oh crap! So he okay. dives in, but it's like I got you know I can call. My super power. I can call on Roshan to deal with you. Hey, kid. But you know, it's a pretty standard start to the lanes after that pretty chaotic minute zero four kills. Um, oh. But yeah, like you were mentioning earlier on, it is Pastille leading the way in this mid lane. After he gets this creep for the last, last one, it'll be 11 for three against the six and O, oh, so nearly doubling him up already. This is a brutal lane top, by the way. Oh, no, no, top again, please. Thank you. Uh, no, top, that's bottom. Yeah, there we go. Um, you, when you're Darks here and Marcy, you want to be right next to the enemy, right? Ion shell, blah blah blah, all good, the good stuff. But if you're up against Dying Light, which deals percentage damage. You're up against the, you know, a gyrocopter who has rocket barrage when you go close. You really can't actually spend too much time being close, and you're up against two range heroes and you're too melee. So this top is going to be pretty brutal for uh, Rogue Squad. Yeah, I mean you can see that result. In fact, it looks like Pampu is having to drag creeps. We also got the one lane. Actual, getting extremely good. And he will actually fall down. 
Check Chile even getting the last hit there just before he got too close to the tower. So nice little pick up there for the side of the Rogue Squad and just really capitalize on the fact that our sand was off killing creep uh, killing Curious. Right. I think he was actually farming as well. I could see I saw him throw the mind flare on a on a creep camp. You know, it's nice for him to do that to farm, but your Enigma needs you right now. Mm -hmm. It's like for and sure. look at that. King he is just zoning people out, doing a really good job. Darkseid only has 8 CS. So sure, Enigma's dying, but at least he's getting gold. Whereas low res, struggling a bit. Look at that, he's falling all the way here. How? Wow. That is commitment. I suppose it's, yeah, kind of forcing the creeps to go underneath the tier 1 tower at the very least. So it's not like it's going to be held back this way for too long. So uh, I guess mission accomplished in that respect. Look at Bampu. Wants to trade. By the way, uh, remind that all the damage also mean, means that you have less hit chance. It's not much. The 2% miss chance per hit is not like a ton, but it's also annoying when you miss one hit. Uh, yeah. I mean, like, you know, the innate ability from the Phoenix. Yeah, sometimes that can be very, very frustrating. Um, but it looks like back at the mid, the CS is pretty much equalized. It's not a huge rift between the two of them now. Feels oh, pretty equal. Oh. Oh, what is this? Wow. Just gonna run at him. Between the two towers, Poison find the opportunity to basically get a solo kill on towards Pampu. At the same time, Asan actually dropped to the bot lane as well, so not a nice game to be a support, apparently. No, this one to just get a kill like that. By the way, I'm very certain that Poison was meant to be their position 5. I, I mean, that's how I listed it. If you look at the Liquipedia page, Poison's listed at their position 5. How interesting that he's playing Jai Helicopter carry in this one. I'm wondering if I'm wondering what's going on, or maybe we just have incorrect info. Either way, it's still looking really good for Winter Bears right now, as two of their lanes are just really nice mid as well. Yeah, for sure. Uh, all three of them top of CS, really Sesson up there, who's trying his best. Look, he's actually getting poked and prodded a fair bit in the mid. He was playing quite aggressively. He takes a a few old whacks for his efforts there, but just hold on to that solid 1k gold leads. Um, happy so far. Sessons has to either have good rotations or force, find some way to recover. Probably find good rotations is easier. You know, it's just like, yeah, if I can get kills here and there, I'll still be having good impact. But right now, he is losing a lot. And late game Storm is so much better than late game Earth Spirit. Yeah, for sure. Like the, the way that the Storm Spirit scales is just infinitely different, it feels, um, compared to that of the Earth Spirit. Like the Earth Spirit it can control up the early game a lot better, but. Takes a oh, while. He's, he's got him. He's got him. Yeah. Poison. Oh! Okay, he thought about going for the uh, courier as well, but I guess with the three hits because of uh, the Marcy talent, then it is not worth it. I, can, you, you, I get the feeling that Poison must be their support because he is so committed to getting kills. Most characters are like, no, it's not worth it. But he's like, nah, I want to get blood, you know? We're supports. We like fighting. Uh, yeah, oh. he's very good. Chili. He will go down. Nice find there from Asan to take him out. X as well, Malifa stun, mm, a few pokes, but he is going to be fine, survives with 30 HP, just not willing to dive too deep past that tier 1 tower, we'll let him live for now. Yeah, uh, we could see that Phoenix was there, King Phoenix could have jumped in, thrown out a few fire spits, hope to get lucky, but decided not to, as oh Pam, Pam has been the punching bag this game. It has, Pastille manages to find a solo, Sesson drops the ultimate, but Pastille's just going to stand his ground right now, sure the Magtice is getting refreshed, but... The assistance of Kinga, it's another kill that goes his way. <laughs> Double for Pastille, he's top of CS, he's got two kills to his name and three assists. He's a happy, happy boy. And uh, here's the thing though, we've seen Rogue Squad in every game so far, even the like, two games they won, they have had bad laning phases. It's kind of their thing, right? Like we recover uh, after a bad laning phase. Yeah, not going to have as much luck doing that against Winter Bears. As we mentioned, this is a very coordinated team. They're not going to be dropping out their lead after this. You'd hope so anyway. Yeah. <laughs> like, you, you really think that that shouldn't end up happening. But, you know, sometimes mistakes happen. Irrelevant to me. I, I, I mean, either team, whoever wins is like, no, there's no money in my bank account. But, yeah, just the way you see things shake chilly. Boys, look at some poison. How often have you seen carries do that? Just wait that long. Okay. Yeah. Poison. I mean, no one 
was really even there. Like, Catcher was in a different spot. Asan was a mile away. But, yeah, he just casually goes through the Twin Gate. Tries to apply pressure. Will at least secure this Tier 1 tower at the bot lane. But at the same time, looks like a move at the top. Catchall has been caught. And the Phoenix is dead. And could very well likely be this tower going down as well. Unless Winterbear's want to come up here to defend it. Surprised that he didn't use his ultimate there. As the gyrocopter drop it. They'd go there, use your rocket barrage. But no, that was a very odd way to take the fight. He does TP top. Again, he poison. He wants blood. What's the net yeah. worth it? Like, uh, he was going to run in, but he saw uh, Shek Chili appear, which made him halt. But the rest of the team is TPing in right now. They might be able to find a fantastic fight, but the is available. Missile's going to come out. They actually get the surge on towards the CK, so he's going to be fine. But Catcher is here. Oh, he actually decides to drop the Malefice on towards one. There will be the Black Hole at the very least. He'll secure the plus one on towards Pampu. So it's two kills going the way of Winter Bears. Their tower as well survives. <laughs> Just barely, but it survives. Yeah, I like what Catchell did, but he was like, I want good both. Throws out the stun on the on the Marcy and is like, oh sorry, on the Dark Seer. Because he already used the surge on the Chaos Knight, so it's not coming out for him. And then just black holes the Marcy. And this is what you want to do when you're playing in Ingo. Just throw out the black hole. Like, why the hell save it? And he's going first item pipe. Love it, love it, love it. Yeah, it just clearly shows the Winter Bears want to start fighting early, want to start taking an early lead, and it's exactly what they're doing. Eight minutes, 50 seconds. There are 5,000 gold advantage. Bottom tier one has been taken down. The top tier one is soon to follow. They are just getting so much control right now. Pegasus. He spots them out. He does have jump. Very unusual. But Session's going in, trying to solve this problem. Okay, maybe let's get this turn kill on towards Sam, but no, he denies himself the neutral creep, so they can't even get that Atomo. Poison just charging as Shek Chili underneath the tier 2 tower. TP is not going to make it. He still gets the kill. Meanwhile, off in the triangle area, the fight continued as Catcher as well as Kinga both end up losing their life. They're going to try and find Poison. TP, any cancel? Not in time. Uh, the thing is, by the way, that was still a three for one trade. Because, yeah, sure, you thought it was a, like a, a suicide by the Knicks, but still a death. And you were happy for that if you're Rogue Squad. Mm -hmm. Now, to be fair, there's no Phoenix Egg, there's no Black Hole. So it was a bit crazy of Winter Bears to do that. Oh, all oh, right, right. It's lag. Yeah. Classic. Now the lag's coming through. Yeah. 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 It has to happen eventually, right? Yeah, sure. one, one thing mm -hmm. I will say, though, that. Because of the way the CK has died so many times in a row, he's still only level 5. Meanwhile, his position 5 Zeus is 6. So, he just... He's not quite able to find anything so far this game. Even his net worth, he's only 300 gold ahead of the Knicks. I mean, a Knicks... We often see this, right? Solo killing people. He tends to be... He turns into a core. He's not as bad as he used to be. I feel like Knicks is... I'd love to be good with this hero. He feels very reliable to play, if you know how to play him well. Meanwhile, that's what are we looking at here in terms of... Sorry? I was like, that's, that's the thing. It's it's being able to play him well. Like, that, the fact that he actually seems pretty yes. damn strong. All about getting those spike counters like, it's, time and It's like, if you can just make it through the laning phase, the hero feels great. But the laning phase, you feel kind of ass. And you're in a pub. It's like, but in games like this, he is he's really carrying his own. Four, two, and three. So involved about seven kills. You go in, you mind flare a creep like that. You always get some gold coming in. G getting having a farming ability as a support feels amazing. Yeah, it's sort of like why support Mirana was semi-popular. Just arrow creeps constantly. Just get the free money. Even punch to some extent. Just hook a few, get free money. But yeah, just having it on the next assassin who, like you said, can still get money through solo killing people. It's just a huge bonus. I wouldn't know anything about, uh, I, I, you know, throwing uh, arrows at creeps because I was always hitting heroes with mine. Oh yeah, no one do a very good Marana yeah. player. Yeah, I can tell you play her all the time. Like, yeah, I, I mean, I can't even miss. That's just how it works out. Too damn good. Like you throw an arrow at a creep and it just turns around and hits a hero. <laughs> yeah. It bends, you know, like it just warms around. Like okay, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's quite. Yeah. They did get that. Do we get a tower here for Rogue Squad? So it's a bit of more. Oh! Yeah. Sessa okay. getting caught, though, is really bad. They even commit three TPs back. It's not in time. And now it looks like they're going to continue the fight. 
As they're coming in for the catch off, Pasta was there, trying to focus on towards Texas. As Pampu's making space for his follow support, he's able to get off the ultimate, but unfortunately, nobody actually dies. And Pampu. He's trying to run. Pastille, though, continues the chase. The right clicks plus the Sunray. Is it going to be enough to get the kill? It will. Triple kill. Going the way of Pastille. Oh, he had a regen rune. That's why. Okay. Oh, by the way, that I've never seen that laser before on the Phoenix. That cosmetic. Um, that is really cool because like starts thick and then it, like narrows down when you hit a person. I hope the next time our observer is able to like catch it because that was incredible. And. Uh, Phoenix is going all on the Veil, so Veil to Shivas. They really want to go all offense on Winter's Bears. They're good. He does have Black Hole if he wants I mean, to use it here on Catchall. Yeah, but I think maybe Catchall was thinking about turning him because that was just a very aggressive attack there from Low Riz, but wasn't really able to find anything. Um, but now Pastille... Oh. Yeah, he bowled the Amplify damage, so he does have that. And looks like they're going to continue the hunt to try and find this Darks here if possible. Gonna be a big kill if they can find it. You know, I want to be. Oh, oh, shake chili. Uh, he walks in. Oh, he knows. But looks like yeah, Aslan was able to get his time off. Oh, Spike Carapace is there. Good stun as well. He's trying to make space for poison, but it looks like the gyrocopter. He's just resigned himself here. He's gonna stand and fight. He does some good damage. Asan as well, with the magnetize on him. He's actually gonna live. I. Yes, everyone from Rogue yeah. Squad was really worried about the retaliation, you know, the rest of Winter Bears appearing, but they weren't interested. They just stayed at the bottom and carried the farm. Yeah. I mean, losing your carry is not great, but it doesn't feel like Poison is playing the very traditional carry. He's more involved with the team, trying to make space. I think it's like the Duraccio style, you know, where you're like more, of, you're more about fighting early on, so... What I mean by that is that killing him isn't as valuable as it would usually be. Yeah, that's for sure. Uh, so fight going on in the jungle area. Catchall trying to hide on this oh, side. Bobby. Does drop oh. back off. There is going to be the cancel of melee there for Pegasus, but Eggs dropped in a fantastic spot. They've already lost two. Sessions will fall as well. So sure, they're able to take down Catchall, but it cost them three <laughs> heroes in response. Not quite the trade. The rogue squad. <laughs> Poor Pampu, by the way, he was trying to use his uh, jump to get close to the Enigma. He jumps in as the Black Hole comes out, interrupts him halfway, and he's not able to, like, land. He's only level 5 on Marcy. He's going to be level 6 once those Wisdom Runes are taken, but no Unleash has been kind of hurting them. Yeah, that's kind of like their only decent tool at dealing with the Egg as well. Apart from that, it's, exactly. it's terrible. They have no, no way of dealing with it. And by the way, he's going first item BKB on Marcy, as we thought. Oh, yeah. Right. Like, no... BKB into Basha, you know, the old, old that... route. You are? Oh, wow, that's a huge kill to find. Pastille goes down. Seven kill streak. They're going to pursue for more, and they will be able to find Kinga as well. Big move there for Rogue Squad. It is. And uh, we're seeing it, right? The Rogue Squad recovery. We've seen so many times today. Bad laning phase into a recover and the catch -all does not have blink. So he is a vulnerable target, but it's just too far near away from the rest of the team. Yeah, I guess Cal a little bit too close yeah, to that so tier two to want to dive for. I think if Rogue Squad was able to work a little bit more on their fundamentals, they would do they'd go further. Because they're actually good at communicating, making plays and stuff like that, but that early laning phase is always getting them tripping them up. Mm. Yeah, it, it does seem to be a constant recurring theme, but unfortunately this time round, they're not quite able to switch the game state as much as they did in the previous series. Like, shot, they are making moves like we just saw. They found a big, big kill, yeah. but it's not really been that huge opportunity to just all of a sudden gain the lead. Yeah. What's Pegasus doing, by the way? I'm very interested in this, this Zeus. He, does, oh, he has a point in the leap. Long enough, he's going for a Glimmer Cape. Okay, all right, that's fine. Yeah, it does have the point of the Heavenly Jump. I don't know if he took it at 8 or 9, but he definitely didn't have it by 7, because he had max on Arc. Uh, bye, Pampu. Yeah, he's, he's a dead is... for sure. I mean, I feel like... I thought normally when you play like support Zeus, you don't max Arc Lightning. I thought it was always about maxing Lightning Bolt. Mm. Since you didn't know, I think, no, you still max Arc Lightning. Lightning Bolt, you... 
It scales well for sure, but the mana cost is expensive and hits one, whereas Arc Lightning hits many people, it's your farming tool. So, and you, when you pick Zeus, you should go for the farming ability. Because you, know, you already commit to being greedy top lane. Catch you. Oh. That's a huge kill. All right, so Rogue Squadron now, like three big kills in a row that yeah. they've been able to pick off. They are very happy with how this game started to shape out. And it feels like Winter Bears, they're not quite putting as much emphasis as they were on finding kills and trying to close that pressure. It seems like they've defaulted into more of a farming kind of playstyle. Yeah, it's it's weird. But it's not too bad either way for Winter Bears. They can wait it out, they still have a farm storm, and they do have gyrocopters. Like we say they're you know not fighting as much, but they're they're fine with the way the status quo of the game is going. And late game, Enigma Phoenix, wow. I mean, that is very hard to beat, no matter who you are. Yeah, for sure. And it all depends if they can actually get there or not. I mean, Poison, yeah, he's got that Maelstrom. He has Axe as well in about 900 gold. So that's going to be another big power spike for himself. And I'm sure that's probably going to be the opportunity they're going to look to make some plays as Pipe for Catchall. Also 600 gold away. Um, Pastille, well, still quite far from his BKB, but... The other two items will be big enough, I think, to make a move. Hmm. Sting Orchid coming out from the CK. Mm -hmm. Man, it's good, but it's one of those items that once it's countered, you really feel like it's not valuable, and you have to make sure it gets used right now. When people see they'll start itemizing up around it, Yules, BKBs, Lotus Orbs. It's a very, like, for 10 minutes, Orchid's a great, amazing, perfect. And then after that, it becomes completely useless. Yeah. I mean, like I said, if they can make use of it now, it'd be good, as Pass still still a few thousand gold away from his BKB, so if you can get that lockdown on towards the Storm Spirit, it's a huge target, but it is all about finding him in this amount of uh, opportunity. But we'll see if they actually get that chance or not, as uh, even uh, Kinga's farm, he's he's only like 1,400 gold away from Reshiva's. Yeah, I will say how valuable this Shiva's is going to be. By the way, uh, Marcy has one component of the BKB, but Sessens is about to finish his BKB. That is going to be another power spike. Orchid on CK, BKB on the Earth Spirit. Sure, Black Hole doesn't care, but just kill Catchel. And there he is. Catchel doesn't reveal himself. He walks in, but he guesses they're in the area. Yeah, they sort of got that inkling, but just somehow Rogue Squad know they're coming their way and they're just hiding off to this left side right now, not choosing to expose themselves. Earth Spirit just barely TPs out there in time, so this little smoke move doesn't seem to net a single thing here for Winter Bears. Very close, but close enough. On the other side, there is a pipe on Enigma and there's a Dagon on the Nyx Assassin. But it's very much... Both teams kind of want to fight, but they want to make sure they get the jump off because they have like these nice items that they want to show off. Uh, oh, now that's a good one. Uh, yeah, he, he's just running in, but look at this. They just don't realize he's on his own. They could yeah, have they easily do. commit for him and find the kill. Yeah, if Sesson's going to turn on him, but look how close everyone now is here from the side of Winter Bears. Like, you've lost your opportunity here, oh, guys. Asan. Asan gets a nice two-man stun as well. A lot Blood of damage up. on the sectors, but can't finish the kill. Now they're going to change their focus over towards Sesson, as Asan has already lost his life. There's Rich. Charge forwards. Nice black hole use. Connects on towards threes. Decent damage. Then in comes Poison's finish ball off. Has to as well. Jumping in and out. Poison will still die. And Pegasus, the only survivor here, trying to TP he? out. Not gonna happen. And it's an ultra kill going the way, Pastille. Three for five exchange. Lost to digest in that fight. Firstly, I like what Pegasus did. When they found Poison charging in, what did he do? He pressed ulti. And that gives you vision of everyone. He's like, oh! Guys, he's alone. He's not, like, his team is not there. They try to chase him, but Poison is able to get out of a bit of distance. They have to commit for more. And uh, Asan comes from the side, about to kill Zeus, but he gets the Glimmer Cape off. So a lot of that damage gets mitigated. Zeus survives, and Asan dies. And, of course, then we saw the Black Hole. It's a long fight, but good moves from both teams. Yeah, I, I'm just very surprised that Rogue Squad commit that much. Like, once the, the Thunder God's Wrath went off, they saw where the rest of Winter Bears were, and they must have known that it wouldn't take long for them to reach. Yeah. But even still, they, they, they commit, and it just did not work out for them in the end. And Pastille, he just continues to be aggressive, finds another one. 13, 2, and 4 on this storm. 
20 galvanized stacks as well. And uh, what was his? Wait, I'm trying to see. I, I, it's a bit small here. What's his um, mana regeneration per second? 26. Damn. And by the way, he's got the Grove Bow, so it does amp up all the damage he's able to do against enemies. It's a very nice item for him. Mm. And this is the thing. Oh, good kill on Poison. If they can get it, and right next to the Wisdom Room. I like how he does it. Yeah, it's perfectly timed. That's some good damage. Pegasus is able to TP out. Pampu as well. No, right. denied there from Pastille. So they do get a response, but it still costs them the life of their carry and the Wisdom. The Wisdom Ruin is a, bit, is a big one. Like, it's as good as getting the kill on the Gyrocopter. You steal the enemy Wisdom Ruin. Pegasus is going to go p pick up his. And by the way, I have said that the Phoenix is incredible. This game is like the best support. But Zeus, in terms of damage, is he ranks up there with the Phoenix, for sure. 100%. And you, you don't even need many items to be able to pump out that damage. It's mainly just levels on top of everything else. So, Bastille! Very aggressive jump forwards, but he has the BKB. He's going to continue to stand his ground. Takes this though with the Glimmer. He's going to try and disengage. Another zip. However, Asan comes in with a two man stun. Takes still playing to the absolute limit. He can't get up to the high ground. He has to right click. He can't outpace the damage. And Pegasus will be able to bring him down. Egg dropped. Setter. BKB used. No, black no further up disables though, but they're just going to try and surround him to see if they can finish off this kill. They're all really slow. Trying to get the roll out, and he will successfully retreat. I don't think there's any way they can stop him here. And yeah, he's gone. Yep. So, yeah, black a hole. very nutty fight. Pastille, wow, so aggressive. I can't believe he stood there when they were going for that, and he's like, yeah, I'm fine. You know, I'm not, I'm not scared. It does... Like, that was insane. I thought he was going to BKB and jump out. The BKB used to fight wild. Yeah, I suppose he just knows there's no BKB piercing disables on all of Rogue Squad, so he's like, I have a solid 10 seconds of freedom. More than enough time for my team to turn up. I gotta say, this game is a lot closer than I thought it would be. Like, it is actually shaping up to be a very uh, even game. Uh, one thing though, is his two BKB usages have been a little lackluster so far. Huh? Mm. And now you're down to 7 seconds, and it's gonna be 6 and Oh dear. Oh. Yeah, immediately punished right there. They knew his BKB would still be on cooldown, and they just find the freebie. Oh, they also spot Pegasus there, but I believe he's just underneath the sentry wards. Asan will walk underneath another one. Silence is in. Free kill. It's fine. You know, you are able to bring out Earth Spirit. At this point, we are entering the point where Earth Spirit is just becoming a non factor. You know, more control than damage, and that's about it. As Pampu, very, very close to the BKB. Then you're going to have another threat. Like, you have Marcy with BKB and you have Azuz. Suddenly your supports are looking like, all right, we, we got some damage on these guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, for sure. They'll be able to actually stand their ground. I mean, you know, is the standard build for Pampu just going to be the basher after this BKB? Is there yeah. any other kind of route you could take it? No, it has to be the basher. It's just too good. And by the way, there's going to be, there's a blink on the CK with the silence. Right now, there's nothing Catchel can do. If they jump on him, he doesn't have a Greaves or a BKB. He's just going to have to take it to the face. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of surprised that he didn't go for a BKB sooner. Yeah. Just consider the fact that there's, like we said a few times before, there's no BKB piercing disables. His black hole would yep. be completely free. But yeah, he went for the pipe route instead, which again, it makes perfect sense. The Zeus, the Earth Spirit, so much magic damage reduction there that it, it's worthwhile, but I don't know. I feel like maybe you then get the BKB before Boots of Bearing. I'm with you as well. I also don't mind if he went for Guardian Greaves. I understand the drums helps you push, but I think people are like, they don't like Greaves all of a sudden. It's like, ah, oh, mech's bad. I'm like, is it? It seems still fine to me. Like, health for everyone. Greaves would have removed the silence, BKB would have made you yes, immune to it. Both are. Are solid options to me. Yeah. Uh, but we're not pros, are we? Uh, no, definitely not. Well, I've, I've tried once no, upon pros. a time. It didn't work. Uh, I'm sure you probably tried. Uh, uh, Did but, you? but we're pro casters. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, I got, I got some money. Oh yeah. How a much? Bit. Yeah. A little bit. How much? Could, could, could you buy a sandwich? 
Oh, man. Well, okay. what size sandwich? <laughs> That's be a minimum of a foot long. <laughs> a, fo a whole foot long? Jeez. I mean, you ain't cheap. I think I can get you a decent foot long, but no drink. Oh, okay. Wow, that's right. that's disappointing. You know, you're not even a meal deal, mate. <laughs> and and that's not because of the money, but because of the affection levels I have for you. Oh, okay. I, I know where I must improve then. <laughs> what, I, what I have to do to get a damn drink. Let's see how it works. Oh, jump on some Pandu. Good stun, silence. He's just stood there waving, though. Yeah. I mean, he had his BKB ready. He's like, okay, don't waste your time. Yeah. Uh, I do. That guy is really cool. Pastel's a little cocky, but I gotta say, he's very entertaining to watch with the way he's handling things right now. Mm. Dance in, high fives, like. Well. Yeah. That... Mm. Cool? Uh, looks like they're thinking about Roshan right now. It's on the enemy side. Sorry, on the dire side. They are going for it. This could be the moment for both teams where it's like, all right, the make or break. Even Zeus uses ultimate. He's like, yo, I want this. Let's go. Let's kill. Catchel is a huge thing. You bring him out, it's a big opening for the team. Yeah. Oh, he turns around. Managed to get three man black hole, but the immediate cancel there from Pegasus. But even still, he's kind of baiting them into an awkward spot. He's lost his life. The poison's charging in there. Trying to bring them down. Finally, Pegasus dies as well. Assassin is gone. Pampoos is focusing on towards Pastil. The stun controls him. BKB off cooldown with mana, and he still dies. You were saying how you enjoy how he plays the game, but Jesus, he's greedy. I mean, Pampu, right? To be fair, BKB would have done nothing against Pampu's physical damage, but he didn't need to be that greedy. He could have still used it to dodge a lot before that. And it's an honestly good fight for Rogue Squad. Two cores down for... You know, they trade a core, two cores and, oh sorry, a core and one support. They bring out the Phoenix as well. Really nicely done. Oh. Yeah, I, yeah, well, literally just pressing his BKB. That fight yeah. would have been a million times better for Winter Bears. But yeah, the, the cockiness got to him for sure. And but like 100% Pampu tipped him straight away. I would have, I would have got the whole team to tip him for that. Yes. <laughs> try, I'd been like... try and kill him. Oh, Asan, they do have a blink on the CK. And I think he was envisioned for that lightning bolt, but too far for the CK to catch. All right, I'll tell you something about us people from the Middle East. We have a bit of an ego. And, uh, we, 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 we don't like just to win. We like to win with style. And like, you can definitely be like... Yeah. I mean, we have Amar, our representative. Oh, Asan. Ooh, okay, Dust is there. They're really trying to find this Nyx Assassin. They will be able to get the grab onto one. Out comes the missiles. They just delete one support. Folks onto the second. He is gone. Shaktili as well. Short to full. And just an easy trap that collapses onto the face of Rogue Squad. Sesson's trying to roll out. Ooh, nice attempt to block there for Bastille. Couldn't quite get it. He just finds the kill either way. Four people dead. And Lou Riz, the only survivor, because he's AFK farming. And. I mean, he was hoping to join the squad, but it doesn't work for them. I like how what King Gay did it. He just instantly eggs in case anyone was around. Might be like, oh, it's overkill, but that's the way you want to do things. San's got a Blink Dagger as well on the Nyx Assassin. So he's going to be able to show up and throw out those stuns. Overall, this was a nice moment for Rogue Squad earlier, but it completely gets negated now. 8,000 EXP. That's a lot. That's, uh, that's a lot. And then the experience of a Roshan on top of that, it's probably close to about 10,000. Oh, and they also were able to get the Wisdom. I assume that's why our Observer is pressing Enter, right? Is it? Is it? Could yeah, be. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. See? He knows. He knows. M me and him, we are melding our minds into one. So like, we, we're understanding what he's doing just by him looking at the map. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm glad that someone spots these things. You know, generally, I'm, well, I've relied that on my co-caster, but uh, <clears throat> he's too busy to talk about something else. Hmm. Marcy is Sorry. going for Badger. There you go. I called that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I called that out. <laughs> I mean, you asked me, you're like, what did they go? I'm like, yeah, they're going to go Badger. Like, oh, Pastel. Pastel. Oh, okay. Oh. Still holding on to that BKB. Eight second charge. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, seven seconds. At that time, he does get punished. 80 seconds now without him. And this is going to be an immediate chance for Rogue Squad to push a tier two. Maybe even tickle high ground if they so wish. We'll have to wait and see what they're going to decide. Well, yeah. To be fair, I don't blame Pass on that one. You get caught sometimes. And you also... What? And... 
Wow, now that's a problem. You are literally saying, yo guys, go push. Because you can get a pick off and you might be real you're like, let's just, you know, not go too far with this. But then they give you another free kill on top of that. Death, whatever. I think if you're Rogue you have to go high ground. Like, you just have to. Yeah. Oh. Oh, nice attempt. Nice okay. attempt. Yeah, that's good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, quick blink out there from the next. Let's keep him safe. But... Yeah, very awkward just to lose your Phoenix like that. I mean, at the very least, Rogue Squad doesn't look like they're going to push for anything more. So it's just that mm. Tier 2, which they were probably going to get either way. Um, so maybe not the worst little trade in the world. Obviously, still got this Aegis in the hands of Poison for three minutes. Uh, are they are they waiting for any particular item before they make a play? or, or BKB what? on Enigma, probably, would be the one. He's, uh, he's very quite close to it but he needs about another thousand gold a little bit more and without it he just feels like he's way too controllable so i would mm -hmm. think that's the best item that's the only item you really need yeah like we've seen a couple of black holes now which just get immediately cancelled by a single thunderbolt it's just yep. not really? thunderbolt. Oh, sorry that's, that's all it's taken all right another yules and blink out he's playing very aggressive but he's doing what nixes do getting information oh i thought you said you were gonna say being annoying I was like, yeah. Yeah, there's that as well. <laughs> oh, damn. I oh, play against Nyx. Do you know that um, right now his reflect is two and a half? It used to be four and a half seconds. You have the spike carapace off. That was wild. Yeah, it was kind of busted. But I think now it's... No, yeah, assuming with the, with the 15 talent, it's only 0.5 seconds added on. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's uh, two seconds only. I was wondering, I was like, I remember the old days, you used to really hold off like, yo, yo, nobody hit him. Spikes are coming out of his ass. And now it's like, eh, yeah. I'll just wait a second and it goes away. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I suppose you had to try and nerf him somehow because, you know, as we've seen in this game and the previous ones, like, he's still a very, very strong hero in doing what he does. Yes. So you, you got to nerf him somehow. By the way, without Aether Lens on Pegasus, Zeus is not that great at defending. Your cast range for Arc Lightning is, what is it, like solid 700 or something like that? But without Aether Lens, you're just uh, 800. Yeah, 800 is not, it's not much. So you're very vulnerable. Ooh, think of vulnerable. Okay, Poison, getting caught out. Yeah. First life gone. Does have that big beam, of course. Okay, so the time with the back lines going on towards the Phoenix. He's on some, can he survive? There's going to be the black hole, but he gets cancelled so quickly again. Eggs, though, in a very good spot. Assassin's actually going to die for this. So it's a 5v4 now. No buyback available for the Earth Spirit. And there should just be another free build. Although, is it? Check Chili. Nice pullback on towards the sap of the creep. It actually tanks the hit. Ooh. Very lucky there. And unfortunately, and like this would have been an opening for them. They really want to get more. They really want to get more with no black hole, no egg. But that was very unfortunate. It was a nice opening, by the way. If that poison didn't have weak ages, he would have been dead. Oh. Okay, aggressive jump forwards, back him on yeah, towards him. two, and Sun is dead, Pastil though, he jumps into the back lines, he's found the CK, down goes Shek Chili, he's a fantastic target, Pampu also dies, and now Lou Riz desperately trying to run away, but away from the base, it's just not going to pan out, and it's a whole team wipe for Tomo, they're all dead there. They are all dead, and <laughs> tier 2s are up, for so Winter Bears, I don't know how much they're going to be able to capitalize on this, and there are buybacks on two of the cores. So you might just like tickle the tier fours. Yeah, well, poison's gonna start it. Um, that's a good tickling. All right, uh, it is. That, that, that's definitely not a feather he's using. That's doing some serious work. As one tier four is definitely gonna go down. They might consider using buybacks once the two supports are alive. But it looks like that no, winter bears. They're just gonna back out. There you go. TP is out. Doesn't really cost them too much. And again, I, I respect that. They felt like at any moment they could come back and you know, or buy back and catch you. It's a, it's a wise decision. <laughs> Overall, though, I really like how they started that with Rogue Squad. Pulling poison in, trying to get the kill, but bad luck on that Nyx Assassin. If he didn't have a creep, the bolt would have hit him. It doesn't get reflected, by the way, to the Zeus because it's its own unit. Could have maybe got the, the Nyx. Mm, yeah, for sure. That would have been a big help, but... Just that one random creep was like, get down, Mr. President! And just took took the bullet to the face. You know, it's a solid show. Uh, but yeah, as a result, it's, it turns into a very, very strong fight there for Winter Bears. And they're probably going to start pushing for more. Going to focus on this mid-tier 2 now. We'll see if Rogue Squadron defend. 
Oh, oh they know that they're there. Yeah. Oh dear, he's got he's oh. got be capable. Yeah, he's forced to use it. Okay. Oh, he's stunned and okay. Well, I suppose it's not it's not spell immune. It's stash resistance now. Some crap. It always confuses me. Shows he's stunned, but he's not. By the way, Dark Seer has enough. He, I think he's gonna buy. He's gonna buy the Axe Scepter on the res. Oh, oh my lord! Pastil? Four man vortex? Just yeah. zipping in, doing all the work. He's on his own. He's killed two supports for crying out loud. And now Shakchili's gonna try and stand his ground, but he still dies! No buybacks to be seen. What is this man doing? Everyone tips him. They're like, yeah, that was pretty wild. The Pastel ran with this game from the laning phase and. I'm, I'm just looking at the item. Okay, Dark Seer. Oh, okay, yeah, five man vacuum into the black hole though, but it gets immediately cancelled. But unfortunately, it was yeah. a shot in the dark and they all still die. GG is there and Winter Bears, they take game one. Unfortunately for them, they really didn't have much of a combo with the Dark Seer. I thought Lures played decently, but because we, uh, every time I've seen he's getting the two, three, and we can see at the end, five man vacuum. It doesn't make a difference. No one there to capitalize. Yeah. Um, phase and hoping that they're going to come back by everyone pressing R and that's generally the wrong mentality I'm sure you know like there are team, teams that do it when they're ahead they just want to make sure they have team fight but that's that's different this is a war of a desperation I don't like it I think they're going to mess up their ultimates and they're not going to ever get a good team fight because of that never never get a good team fight never it'll never okay I mean it could honestly happen but you know what I mean <laughs> Just quite unlikely. Mm -hmm. But we do see this smoke move here from uh, from squad. Rogue squad. So I forgot the first word for a second there. But mm -hmm. it looks like Catcher, he was in the right position. He was able to run himself out of there. Not going to fall prey to it this time around. Uh, Pampu, just a casual smiley face. Oh, gross. Yeah. I got to be happy. You know? yeah, All right. So I'm looking forward to seeing. All right. So laning phase Husk versus Puck. Oscar doesn't care about Puck. He's just going to be throwing. He was. What's that? What facet did he take? I'm, I have a. I believe it's the one that you do more damage. Yeah, incendiary. So the cool thing about incendiary, by the way, is that it allows you to actually skip maxing out the uh, the spear. You put one or two points, and you max out the other abilities instead because the damage doesn't actually rack up that well. Yeah, I suppose you're only getting an extra... Well, I suppose from level 1 to level 2, the base burn doubles, but yeah, the, yep. that 4% is going to be doing more than that single doubling of 5. Yep. So you just want to take like one or, like two points, and then that's it. Then you max out Berserker's Blood, especially in a game like this, where you're going over against a lot of magic damage, the resist really adds up, as well as the regen. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right, top All right. lane... It's going to be the Beastmaster and the Hoodwink against a Monkey King Clockwork. Pretty damn rough, but I, mean, I can see it going both ways, but the Hoodwink's a big equalizer. I think you're going you're gonna to suffer here on Pampu. Yeah, already. As soon as you step up, take a few right clicks, Acorn shot bounce. I mean, I, ever since they brought out the uh, the facet of the, the tree bounce trick shot, it's just so yeah. good when there's anybody on their own. Just guarantees two hits. Just yep. really is a fantastic way of out uh, DPS and someone. And Pampu moves forward. The thing is, Asan doesn't have to be worried. Oh, wow. Oscar takes a lot of damage. He doesn't have to be too worried about him early on. Because uh, want to say something. Uh, because he knows he already has battery assault. All right, mid lane. Oof. No one died. Not yet, anyway. Not That's yet. still dangerously low. He still needs to hit his level 2. Now he does have it, and he has that Berserker's Blood. And all of a sudden, it feels like the uh, uh, the, the momentum of this mid lane is going to shift just with having that one spell unlocked. Yeah. And, uh, you can tell Sesson's having to play with it. He's just having to stay so far away now. I have, I have, I have a question, though. Does Is Huskar kind of like Ogre, where intelligence gives you nothing? You know, like you use health instead of mana to use your items and your spells. So I guess you don't really get any value from intelligence in any way, do you? I guess not. In okay. which case, then, Wait. you know, you were saying about how braces isn't worth it. Is, is it also not worth building a on Husker? Well, to be fair, I think... Can we hover over intelligence for a second? I think you get base uh, magic resistance. Yeah, you get some magic resistance out of it. So, eh. I guess that's only value. That's something. Ooh, pastel. Jesus. <laughs> he definitely is playing to the absolute limit in this lane right now. 
and quite bold takes the second point in the burning spears rather than the second point in the in the berserker's blood so he still feels like yo i'm i'm fine it might look like i'm in danger but this is actually what full health looks like for a huskar yeah <laughs> i mean if you're full health you, you're just not playing the hero right like, it's... exactly uh, need to figure it out uh, all right, let's look at bomb lane. I think we're gonna have a. Uh, I know our, our observer is worried that we're gonna miss it, but don't worry. If we miss it, we won't say anything mean about you. I mean, we will, but not that mean. It won't be your fault. So, yeah. bottom lane, it's going pretty even so far between the Magnus and the Mars. First yeah. Oh, definitely you first missed it. Oh. Why? Oh, yeah, I, I'm. I'm blaming that on you, Tomo. You're the one who told him to look away, <laughs> and there I it did. is. <laughs> I was, it was all bait. It was all bait. I was like, let's look now. Because I, 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 I was like, it's pretty really low. Let's let's see if we can get him to do that. Um, the sad face doesn't work on me. We, we enjoy it if that happens. As, oh, bottom, bottom. It's like top lane. Yeah, Sad in danger. Just caught out. Another kill going the way there of Rogue Squads. And Catchall's got to be careful on his own. Can quite easily be pressured a lot by this uh, Monkey King with two points into that Jengate. Pastel honestly gave him that kill. Not taking the second point in Berserker's blood when you're walking around with 200 health and one bracer. Like, that is you saying, I don't respect this guy's gonna kill me. And yeah, sure, you're a little bit better than Sesson, but this is like rank 400. The guy's 11k. You don't get, if you give him an opening, he's gonna take it. There's not a guy who's played Dota, started Dota yesterday. Oh, yeah. I mean, he, did, he actually just ticks out Sesson. <laughs> I was watching it. He just gets slowly trickled out. Meanwhile, up top, Pampu. Dangerously close. The Eagle does not want to hit heroes, apparently. Goes for a creep. And as a result, Pampu's actually going to survive because of that. There you go. Bloody untrained mm. animals. Just tell, you, it's like these days, you just can't tell a bird to jump a monkey like you used to. Oh! No, you, you can't. Okay. That's sad. Good damage, actually. With the help of the boar, maybe they could die for this. The dot damage. It's going to be close. Not enough, though. Nope. Uh, but they do bring them both very low health, and if you are Winter Bears, you're like, oh, ooh, that was a close one. But he's still zoning them out, and you can see that he's actually got the low poison's got the lowest CS in this game. By the way, I assuming that this is their position five switching roles. Monkey King is way harder to play position five than oh than oh sorry not position five. Shake Chili, my bad, my bad. I confused the teams for a second. Never mind. Very confusing. Very confusing, I'm sorry. Yeah, standard. Well, either way. Yeah, we, uh, yeah, one thing we've not really talked about is this bot lane. Like, like, nothing is really... It's a very chill, just farm v farm lane going on. Like you were saying, the Mars and Magnus are both pretty equally paced. Everyone is super help, uh, healthy, so not even much harassment coming out from the two supports. Just... It's just a farm fest. I want to say this favors Rogue Squad that bomb lane is going so even. But I think Poison, from what we saw in the previous game, he's going to join fights the moment the RP is available. He's very active, so he's like, yeah, I'll be involved. Sesson, dragging the creeps because he knows lane to lane, I cannot go up against the Huskar. He's 12 CS behind. That's actually quite a lot. Mm. So why would I, why fight him when I don't have to, absolutely have to? Yeah, I thought he was thinking I, about going for the life break then. <laughs> Look, he was ready for it. So close to the tier 2 tab, obviously, with the facet where any spells dodged, you get heals. Ooh, that scab blast, that probably would have finished him off. Okay, aggressive jump force and path deal. He sees he uses the phase shift and he capitalized on that one. It is a trade at the end of the day, but still, Pastil's the one that gets the experience. Yeah, unfortunately, and uh, yeah, Pastil wasn't able to survive. Pegasus, nice use of the Lud Grenade, by the way. That damage over time takes him down and brings the kill. By the way, that's not a facet for the puck that does that. I believe that's his innate ability. That uh, when you dodge, you heal. Oh, it is. Uh, yeah. How ridiculous! Yeah. Super strong. Yeah, his uh, his facet is the one where when you use your silence, you drag people. Oh, become dragging. Okay, yeah, gonna go for this move on towards catch all. Though Pastil turns up, he's gonna try and make a fight with this one. But nice dream coil connects on towards the two. Asan's in a very dangerous situation. One more use of the orb will finish him off. It looks like Kinga's going to be able to take out the clockwork and the uh, puck. Actually, Jaunts to the orb, going in quite oh. deep. Oh, the seven minute wisdom rune. Oh. This could be huge right now. He He's going to be able to steal the spot, although Pastil jumps forward. Nice use there of the life break. We'll be able to get the steal. Oh, Sesson, he actually jumps to the, the orb with the tier two. Okay, manages to come off cooldown just in time. 
This guy is dangerously low, only 60 HP, but he is able to survive. I love what he went for it. Even if he died, it was still a bold move, but that's how you want to play. You want to put the enemy in an awkward spot. You want to do these sort of ballsy plays. Really nice move by Sesson. Uh, like very, very respectable. As oh, okay. they're going. Continuing the balls right now as Pastille's the one in danger. Although Kinga comes in, he lands the fire spirits on all three in the sun ray. And that makes the space for Pastille just to walk away. Oh, Scatter yeah. Blast, it, I think he's just barely in range. Pastel actually stays hit creeps. Okay, uh, maybe a mistake, but never mind. Oh. Like, if Pegasus didn't turn around there, that probably would have been a kill. I thought Loris was actually level 6, but no, he's 5. And Pat. Ooh, oh, wait, wait, Pastel's in the middle. He's just so quick. He's just able to outrun the uh, the battery assault, but it looks like he will now die. Couldn't get to the creeps to go for the deny. And Pastel, he's starting to get a few deaths on the board now. Despite that, he still more has more net worth than any of the dire heroes, but he's going to be overtaken by the time he comes back by both the Puck and as, as well as the Monkey King. So, and here's the thing. Huskar is not a hero who can do these sort of moves. If you start falling behind, you generally have a really tough time recovering and having impact in the game. So Pastel, he can't afford to clown around anymore. Yeah. Not saying he's he is, but... He's you know. doing pastel things. Yeah, no, he's, he, he just loves to do his own thing. He's actually going into the triangle just to farm up there for now. I guess yeah. waves are a little bit too dangerous. He's like, yo, maybe I should get my armlet. He's also maxed out the burning spears. Again, this is an unusual way to play the hero because you often would max out the, the uh, Berserker's blood if you take this facet. That is, as you can see, it like, costs him a lot of health and you're not regenerating yeah. much. Yeah, for sure. It's definitely not as uh, it's not as sustainable as uh, no. it once was. Be careful, you might just die to the neutrals. Dude, yeah, the, I I don't know. Again, he'd have nearly well, nearly twice as much healing if he went from that level uh, two to level four right about now. Mm. Well, it's, I don't know, crazy. Sometimes I think the pros really push it with their efficiency into being inefficient. Yeah, it's, well, we'll see how it pans out. Bit tier 1 tower the bot lane, that will be going down at the same time the top one also did fall. So it's just a trade of towers at the end of the day. And really gained either side. Although, Cantrell's now actually turned to the mid. He uses the uh, the Wind Ripper just to get himself closer. And he's able to get the raw, which sets up the kill towards Pegasus. Very nicely done. Yeah, he's also going for the... Actually, I do, is he going for it? He's only got Helm of the Dominator. Is he's going for Helm of the Overlord? He doesn't have it queued up. But I imagine you would want to. Looks like he might go for drums into Ags next. A very unusual build coming out from Cacho. Unusual uh, everything, apparently, from Winterburst today. <laughs> it's, it's all weird. It's all weird. Yeah. Poison, by the way, he is getting very close to the, uh, the, the link on the Magnus. Suddenly cool. show up, RP. That's oh. That's been caught. Nice hook shot forwards there to set up for the kill. Pampu takes a fair amount of damage. They're actually going to drop the Dream Core now to go for this kill on towards the Phoenix as well. Easy spear to break it. And both supports dead. With the catapult here, so this could be an opportunity for a Rogue Squad to do some damage this tier one. The way the mid lane has shaped up has really hurt Winter Bears. Like Sessions, Sessions was not, that, uh, not supposed to have that good of a game. And I think it all comes back from an improper skill build on the Huskar. Chat, you guys let us know if we're wrong on this, because I'm fairly sure that's not how it's supposed to be. Yeah, I mean, like you were saying, just percentage-wise, it just doesn't really make sense. Like, the extra yeah. five damage a tick doesn't really add anything else. It's just... Whereas, doesn't seem worth it. Uh, well, they smoke up. Killing Pastel again would be pretty brutal here on Winter Bears. Luckily, he's up away in time. Catchel breaks the smoke using his... Uh, like, he spots them with the creeps and should be okay. Or not. Although, Hook oh, is there. More is also coming in. King is nearby. He's going to drop the egg, but he needs some help. He wasn't able to, to get any fire spirits off, really. There is going to be the RP that lands with two. Pastille dies solo off towards the side. They're able to take down the two supports at the very least, but they lose oh, three. two cores in the, the process. Burn. Yeah, the burn for, uh, okay. kills the puck in the end. So... It comes off as a 3-4-3 three, three trade. You can see that they actually get more gold on Winter Bears just because they're a little bit high, but they trade two cores 
Line of support for two supports in the core. Eh, it comes out fairly even. Yeah, a fair bit more experience as well, actually. 800 or 900 more. So that's really the only big sizable difference in that entire fight. Meanwhile, you know, we do still see uh, the Monkey King off farming. Not really been involved in anything for quite a while now, as he's still trying to build in towards that uh, Battle Fury. And I think he's uh, close to it. About 300 gold. I am... I'm not a fan of Battle Fury on Monkey King. I think that Maelstrom is good enough. Oh, top lane should be a nice freebie kill here on... Uh, oh, maybe Ooh, Although, not. speaking of Monkey King, he's actually going to turn up for this one. Try to focus on towards Catcher. He's able to get the Foundless stun. They're trying to keep him inside. Oh. The Wukong's with the spear. It actually helps him get out of danger. So Catcher's going to be able to survive from this one. And now yeah, they've got to be careful themselves. Check Chili. Has been caught blink there from poison, just jumps up towards the high ground, and all of a sudden, this is not the fight that Monkey King wanted to join in on. Luria is also going to get caught. Meanwhile, it looks like Sesson soloed Pastille again in the, the mid lane, but the rest of the, the, the team, they actually got to win. Yep, they're still very, they're overall quite happy with how that went. Uh, man, that spear keeping him alive. Uh, that's gotta be one of the worst feelings in Dota when you do that, right? You're like, guys, watch this. You throw a spear, you save everybody. Like, oh, whoops. Radiance By the way, it's gonna be very tough for the Huskar to play this game because with a Witchblade on Sesson, armor toggling becomes quite difficult to manage. You oftentimes will armor toggle, one tick kills you, you're gonna have one life. It's very risky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've got to time it perfectly that the tick comes and then you do it midway through but what it's like a tick every half a second or something like that it's every second oh. yeah it's every uh oh. Oh, are we talking which one are we talking about the witch blade right yeah the witch blade tick yeah yeah it's every second uh, you can it says it oh, okay. uh, deals 0 0.75 of your intelligence every second so it's not like um you know oh, yeah. like i know what you mean like the ticks are happening one tick a second not like multiple ticks throughout yeah it's what that's definitely doable then you know, that's a hundred milliseconds, Tomo. That's that's a lot. That's yeah, uh, this this reminds me of the old days. There used to be much fewer ticks, like Juggernaut. When you you do your blade fury, you tick once a second, which was really weird when you think about it now. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense that his one is a little bit more oh. continuous. Meanwhile, Kinga, yeah, yeah. he has been caught out. Another kill going the way there of Rogue Squad. And they are still keeping this game pretty even. 10 for 30 on the scoreline, less than mm -hmm. 1k gold advantage. And the win probability, I believe it's actually in the favor of Rogue Squad right now. Basically 70-30, that's quite Ooh, a faithful okay. lead. Maybe they can make it even bigger as they found Pastille. Spear into with kisses. That's another big find. Can't dodge Grandma's kisses. You know, those things will always find you. And again, this has been an absolute beatdown in the mid lane. He is more than an item ahead on this puck. Oh, nice jump. Raw, okay. cookie. It just completely... Ow, oh, Atos is there, but the re-initiation from Lou Riz. Arena locking down the two of them. The re-evolvement as well from the puck. Poison's here. Maybe he wants to think about going in for the RP, but he doesn't commit for it. Instead, it's a dream coil on towards two heroes. They drop the egg. They might need some assistance for it, though. Looks like it's going to go off either way. Oh, RP just to lock on towards Pampu. Okay, I mean, they get the kill, but it's quite a lot just for him. To be fair, he also was able to prevent any hits coming out from the egg. I wasn't able to see if it was close to popping, but you can say, like, you know, you get a kill and you save an ally, it's kind of worth it for an RP. And it's only 16 minutes, so any kill you get with it is worth using. I think it was still, like, four hits away. I think so, too, because I was looking, I was like, it doesn't seem like it's taking much damage, but I got to hype the man up, all right? It's kind of in okay. our contract he... that, you know, yeah. <laughs> you, in our contract, you've been bashing on people all day. That's different. That was also part of the contract. <laughs> I, need to, I need to read these contracts. contracts. I'll just sign them. Uh, section 3, subsection 4A, you know, be nice. Not underneath it, but be honest. That's, the, that's how it works. Uh, I thought that was the one of no relationships with your co-casters. I didn't read that part. I'm sorry. That, that's, uh, that's not my contract. I think, I think they're protecting okay. you. <laughs> How kind of them. Oh, Pampu. He's just scouting out right now. So only the two supports there. So 
Not really get caught out from that, but it looks like Rogue Squad, they're gathering up, looking like they want to take another fight. Arena's just come off cooldown. They've got Dream Core available. They've got Mormon's Kisses. Whoever they find, it's pretty much a guaranteed kill. Yep. Depends if they get the right jump. How close are we to the RP, by the way? Because it seems like Winter Bears, they're not like hesitant to fight 20 seconds uh, the egg should be around the same time as well yep 10 left so both teams are kind of like yeah we could fight we're more winter bears a little bit more hesitant rogue squad the biggest problem by the way is catching puck we may, i unless you can roar him everything else is very dodgeable for the puck it's and that's why assistance has such a free game so far yeah even after the lane start it was quite aggressive and there was a lot of pressure coming his way especially seems how i believe pastu actually got that solo kill at one point just the spear burn ticked him out but yep. since then sesson has just been nice. wonderfully wanting him and killing him several times yeah he's having a fantastic game he's going for you scepter as well i preferred actually here he goes for a lincoln's oh almost for shake chili lucky that is a heart dropping moment when you jump in and then enemy shows up and you're like holy shit and you make that you're like I didn't throw it for my team. It's so good. Looks like they, they want to fight though here from Rogue yeah. Squad. They're all nice coming block. in. The two nice supports block. in the back line though. Sid not retreat the decent mana. Kinga is dead. Asan as well. Not long for this world. The C2 will just fall. And it's a sacrifice of the two supports. But at least the core survives there for Winter Bears. Very well done by the way. The like Pampu, he was blo body blocked by the creep, so he couldn't get the, the hook shot off. And the moment the creep moved just to his side, he throws it off and gets a ho beautiful hook shot. Very, very well done. And coil was used, eh, a little bit excessive, but so what? Yeah, I mean, Dream Coil is not a super long cooldown, 75 seconds. It's all the worst thing in the world, I suppose. Oh, they still found catch all though. Spear into the Mormoth Kisses, there's just no way to survive this one. Now we're huh. looking at like two to three thousand gold lead here for a rogue squad. They are really coming into their own here in this game too. They must be very, very confident in their Magnus because they're playing in a way that um, it seems like they're okay with throwing lives. It just doesn't see. It yep. seems very odd. Speaking of, more fights going their way. Hooks and fours there from Papu. Oh, Arena's nag. most backline. They found poison. We'll pop Thank the you. BKB, skew it forwards, RP, not willing to drop it just yet, can't get the decent angle, as Pestil's gonna dive forwards for more, the egg will break down below the tower, Sessa gets that, but Pegasus as well as Luris will both lose their life, Pastil though, gets deleted from the Dream Core, now Poison, he's out of mana, he's out of hope, he will fall as well, and it's just a massive victory yet again here from Rogue Squad. Dude, that was so good by Luris, jumps in, controls the Magnus, for some time, Magnus seemed hesitant oh, to use his BKB. I, I thought he didn't have it. Then he throws in like two, three seconds into the arena. I'm like, oh shit, you had that the whole time? Oh, okay. And well, it didn't matter. RP was kind of, it was decent. I don't know, there's, Winter Bears are playing with a lot of mistakes. There's really no other way to say it. They're making tons of mistakes. Yeah. I mean, maybe it's some of that residual cockiness from game number one where they felt like even if they were making mistakes, they were still just so damn good that they could win no matter what. And maybe now it's getting to the point where those uh, that cockiness is really starting to bite them in the ass right now. I mean, at the very least, Lou Riss is pretty poor on this Mars. They're at least ahead of him, but this Puck and Monkey King, they are ahead by a fair bit. To be fair though, pa like Mars is one of those years that doesn't really need too much. Sure, you love items, like you want to have the Blink BKB refresher, but just a Blink with a good arena is, you know, you're doing, you're having good impact just with these two. Uh, Catchel has an Axe Scepter, wants Blink after. Okay. Very odd, I've never seen this item build before, ever in my life. The Overlord, sorry, Dominator, not Overlord, Drums, Ags, very unusual. Yeah, I mean, it, it's all the items you would expect, just in a very Ooh. strange order. <laughs> exactly. It's... Like, yeah. I usually when you go help with Dominator, you want to get help with the Overlord, but he's like, no, Dominator is enough. And then he doesn't go for a straight up Axe, which is an item that gives you a big problem. He's like, I want drums first. Oh, oh, mid lane! Oh, there's a go. Okay, trying to get the catch. Quite able to find it. At the same time, though, Sesson has been able to pick up the ages, so this Puck that's been doing a lot of work is going to be able to play even more freely in the next coming fights. Getting quite worrying here for Winter Bears. They're going to have to start, you know, applying some pressure or at least just playing as a team very soon. 
By the way, there's a spirit vessel on Pampu. Oh, sorry, on the clockwork. That's really good. Which is one of the reasons why I was like surprising you're delaying the, the ags. Now you don't have it with a good timing. Oh, mid lane. Mid lane. Mid lane. Okay, okay, jump in. Catch up. Trapped into the arena. Wukong's command and Warmer's kisses. They're using everything in the kitchen sink to, just, to guarantee that kill. And they are able to bring him down. Poison uh, though. No. We think no, it to be no. silent. We will drop the RP. But where's the follow up? Actually, what? You've got dodge from the phase shift. This Magnus now is in such a terrible spot. He needs to get himself out, but the BKB runs out, and so does his life. It's just an awful showing here from Winterpest in this game number two. They've just lost all cohesion as the Puck's in the base, trying to get this plus one, but can't quite complete that. I'm baffling performance. The, you know, honestly, sometimes I'm like, the only reason that you can be playing this way is if you want to have some practice playing from behind. You know what I mean? It's like, we're seeing all the times people are really separated. The, every time I see RP, there's never been an RP egg together. The BKB usage is super weird from the Magnus. I am stunned in some ways. Yeah, it's, oh. it's a head scratcher for sure. I mean, they, they've got to start ironing out these problems yeah. or we could definitely be looking at the first three game series in I think the entire close qualifies Ooh. for this region. I think every other series has been 2-0. Yeah, wait, wait, let me check. You would be right, oh, my good man. All of them are 2-0s. <laughs> yeah, okay, so that, that'd be something for the first three game. I'll take it. I will jump in for Sesson. It was such a big draft issue. Huh? Oh, up Man, top. Finger? Yeah, finger? he gets the kill. Go. Gonna try to control the Yules though. It dodges Ooh. the charge. The perfectly timed pushback. We're able to find him. He's still able to phase shift off. He won't be able to survive. Well, Luris dies at the back lines. The burn damage will take away there the first go. life there of the puck. So far, so good here for Winter Bear. Sesson, he jumps in aggressively again. Looking for a fight here on towards Catchall. There's going to be the route to control. And Sesson now is the one playing a little bit too aggressive. Out. He just dies. They're trying to run. Atos is there. Oh, the pushback nearly lands on towards Shakchilla as well. But couldn't quite find the plus one towards the Monkey King. Instead, Poison. He's going to pop the BKB. Oh, just charge and finish this kill. RP there. He locks him down. Now Shakchilla. He's trying to stand his ground. It's his only chance to survive. There's so many stuns. He's dead. And it's a team wipe coming out now for Winter Bears. How the hell has this happened? Just when we count them out, they drag us back in. You know? <laughs> we, yeah. um, that was really good on Sesson. The way they were able to catch him like that. The Atos from a mile away, so he has he's forced to use. Lads, immediately there's a bushwhack perfectly done. And then they were able to lock him down like that. Wow. Like, I expected Winter Bears to be playing like this the entire game. Yeah, I mean, okay. maybe they were just they were just waiting, yeah. you know? And now they're here to play. Oh, they're yeah. just going to continue the aggression. Raw on towards the clock, followed up by the Sentinel stun. And this is why he didn't bother upgrading it, you know? Just having a whole extra stun yeah. is so good. Like, maybe it's literally just because of that. So they have another form for the puck. Makes sense. Fair form. Fair point, I mean. I would have still preferred a grad golem. Uh, oh, oh, I, I just received messages. Uh, Winter Bears have, have actually plugged in their keyboards. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> it does. There was like the really longest time when I first started playing MOBAs that I wasn't using keyboard hotkeys and I would just use everything on my mouse. So I would I would literally manually go down, click a skill, and then click a hero. Then go down, click a skill, click a hero. Suffice to say, I wasn't particularly a yeah. good player back then. But, uh, you know, as soon as I learned hotkeys, mate, I was, I was straight up there. <laughs> I'll be honest, from the start, I was using hotkeys. But here's another tip. Use quick cast. Quick cast is so much better than normal casting. Huh? Okay. okay. Pastille actually right. pops his BKB. That's his nine second as well there, Tomo. That's actually very costly. Considering, while it is like a mistake. Oh, okay. dear. Jump in. Though catch was here ready and waiting. They're still going to go for the spear connect on towards Pastir. Without that BKB, he's just going to die. And now they're going to change their aggression over towards catch. He's going to get himself out of here. Raw will land on towards Sub three of them. But the RP is in a perfect spot. Can they finish the 
Crescent right now. He's able to get off the Yules, the Sand with the Shop Shoot. Oh, the Egg, it pops just as the puck lands. The timing is insane. And now Luris has been caught. Check Chili though has now turned up. Maybe they want to continue to fight here from Rogue Squad. But it looks like the fight is now over and it's a two for one trade going the way of Winter Bears. No one will ever convince me that the egg popping there on the puck was intended. I'm like, that's just oh, a no. lucky accident as well. <laughs> it it like, was yeah, extremely I lucky. It. <laughs> I knew it was in six seconds. He even got tipped. He was like, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, you know that meme where it's like the shifty eyes? The guy's like, uh. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely what I picture there. Oh, Alright, Magnus has got an Orchid. By the way, Orchid, quite a decent item this game, because I don't believe anyone on the enemy side has BKBs. They do have Yules on the Mars and the Puck, but if that's baited out, these Orchids are great. And there is a Satanic, so each core has a way of dispelling it, but you just wait for that Dispel, you throw an Orchid on from the Magnus, and it's a very valuable item. Yeah. Bomb lane, team is getting ready here. Oh, okay, Roar, okay, he's Roar. got him. Land on towards one spear. It's gonna miss, but there's still not really much follow up at all. Everyone here from Rose Coin is no, ready to take the no, fight. No, Us be the first casualty. Push, push back on the side to check Chili. But Pampu's still gonna die. Pastille's first Kachow. They're just gonna walk out. Shopshu from there. afar lands on towards Sesson. And it looks no, like Rogue Squad, they've just got to disengage right now. They've kind of run out of momentum. Oh, it's doing for more. Couldn't get the full lockdown there. And it looks like everyone else from Rogue Squad is gonna get himself out. That was a two for nothing. They forced the buyback. They didn't even have to use their RP or their egg. It was just a roar, which is fairly low on cooldown. And like winter bears all of a sudden, just completely different. Night and day switch. It is. Oh, was, maybe was... not over yet. Okay, Shek Chili. Ca like, Catchwell's just casually running at him. All right, he walks away, no problem. Doesn't even have a roar. He's just throw, scaring him right now. As low res, looks like they, yeah, he steals the enemy with the room. That's nice for him at least. It's something. Uh, They're not going to lose their own tormentor though. So that's a free shard going into the hands of poison. That's a good one. The shockwave goes and comes back. It's fairly solid. It's a little bit more damage. Mm. I, yeah, it's okay. I don't really think it's that big of a deal. It's just a, it's a decent shard. Yes. Yeah. It's kind of crazy to me that the old shard was the horn toss. You're like, oh yeah. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, that was good. Now you have to get an axe for it. God, it's so expensive. Mm. Right, just so that I can jump in and whiff my uh, a spell. It's like I can whiff it without that. But I suppose technically the Radiant's the flip side of that was when attack. it was the shards. You weren't mm. stunned while you're in the air, were you? Like once yeah. they made the chain, so you could yes. react to it. It was a stun, then became a slow, then then now it's back to a stun, but as an Aghanim scepter, and you're like. That's somewhat balanced, I would say. Yeah, it feels fair, yeah. like 100%. Yeah. And I feel it wasn't his old one, just like everyone has empower around you. Like or, or yeah, it was, an, it was an aura of empower, but it was like half impact on on ranged heroes or something like that. That was that was a bit of a weird one. No one wanted it. Uh, it was trash. Meanwhile, oh, though, I jump. they're gonna fucking he grab one. They're gonna jump in from Catchall, though. They're gonna be able to put a stop to that immediately. And this is just a free kill on both supports. They're going to be able to get that D ward as well. That's an easy free victory for the side of Winter Bears. Didn't see it when Sesson wasn't there and Luris wasn't there. Um, odd uh, jump by Rogueswad. I guess, yeah, maybe they thought, okay, they can just kill uh, the Phoenix very quick, but that doesn't happen at all. And Roshan is going to come up in about 10 seconds. Winter Bears, very firm control of this game. It does feel like it, doesn't it? Like, they were behind by, I think it was like 7,000 at one point. Mm. It was it was quite a large chunk, um, yeah. but they are able to control this back. According to Old Gaben, apparently, when you look at the actual chart, it's still a 70% win probability here for Rogue Squad. It was that, the crazy thing is, it wasn't that much higher when they were like massively ahead. He is really believing in this. Well, this might change it. Shaq Chili. Wait, wait, this is a very strange place to be caught. What's he even doing here? The, you know, you ever look at it and you're like, wow, this is one of the weirder games I've seen in, in a long time. As Winter Bears, the beginning looked super uncoordinated. Now Rogue Squad, that gank 
just now on the Phoenix. I was like, really? You think Clockwork Phoenix. Snap are killing a Phoenix? Uh, then they... Okay. Right. Sesame yeah. needs to be careful. Is he building... Yeah, he's got Lincolns. I love this decision from him. I think it's absolutely, like, much needed. Yeah, Life Break yeah. with the Axe Scepter as well as the Roar. Uh, some people say, oh, but doesn't dodge the RP or the egg. I'm like, what are the chances of an egg stunning you as a puck? Zero, right? Yeah. Yeah, normally when, yeah. The, when yeah. you got you, at the very least. Mm. <laughs> unless uh, <laughs> unless you have your finger. <laughs> yeah, it's really good time in your egg. Oh. Hey, that might be a good ability, actually. That you can actually, like, press R to pop the egg. That would be pretty cool. I, I wouldn't mind that as a fast or something. But then, like, the, the stun scales, so the longer you channel it, the more the stun lasts or something. Yeah, or, or you can only do it after, like, three seconds, so you can't just, like, RR immediately pop it. You know, there has to be, like, some sort of back, like, some sort of catch to it. Oh, yeah. that's a joke. Oh, talk about catch. They have been able to find Luris as well as Pegasus, so that's two kills very quick, and they've got a creep wave coming in this tier two, so they're going to take this one down. Potentially could see the first high ground siege of the game coming out right now. Well, it looks like, meanwhile, Asan has been caught by the uh, tier two area in the mids. But regardless, the rest of Winterbears, they don't give a crap. Like, take the squirrel. We're going to take yeah. your high ground. I believe the Mars, that was a dieback as well. He wasn't expecting such a long catch up. <clears throat> yeah. That was good. Yeah. That was really good. Yeah. I like that. You could, you could tell by my voice how impressed I, like I was. You. Yeah, you, the problem is I can even see his face, and the way he did react is so sad. It's just. <laughs> oh, no, I, I hope that crushed your soul right there. <laughs> and who caught quite out of position is a full set of barracks. They get back, they get a free kill as well. Uh, it's it's quite sad with the fact that you go back like five seven minutes ago and rogue squad was in a really yep. good spot they were making some some fantastic plays oh. and now all of a sudden it's just flipped it is 50 50 though where are we with the puck that that's the big difference if sesson ah he's only 22 he's only 23 in about a second but if he was 25 he has that pierce's debuff immunity i'm like all right that's a good one but without yeah. it it's still very meh for me yeah oh I tell him it takes him to get that one, but wow, it's still can... a ways to fight. I was looking at the, the talent at 20. You can get 200 initial and 200 break damage from Dream Coast. So that's an extra 400. Not bad. That's quite a lot. Every little helps that's as well. Damage. But it looks like they've got a high ground situation coming their way. I mean, this is Catch will lead the charge. He has a shield rune as well. So he's a big, beef, big beefy boy for sure. And they're just going to start working on these buildings. You can see out of the map that the Puck, as well as the Monkey King, are still out there. They're not interested in coming, at, uh, coming back for this. I suppose there's no creeps, so backdoor protection will kick in. They could just carry on applying pressure, though. Uh, Monkey oh, boy, poison! Like a poison! He's okay, on the side. He's in. Oh, oh, fantastic. Oh. Dude, there is going to be the arena that comes in from the Mars, trying to make space, but Pampu is still going to die. Luris as well. At the very least, they're able to make space for Sasson, but it cost them two lives with no buybacks to be seen. They're even catch oh. up to throw the kill on towards Shek Chili. What are they doing? Why? What? Why is he there? What? Why? Like you, you need your de defense base, ancients, the defense of the ancients. Yeah, they're playing the I... wrong game apparently, Tomo. And oh, down to the south. We do see Sesson attempting a play, but the silence. Wait, he had a, his Yules was off it's cooldown, Tomo. His Yules was. Oh, I mean, his it's Yules over. was off cooldown, though. They, I, I don't know. Oh, they call GG either way. It is oh, going to be another 2 0 there going out from Radiant. Winter Bears. And Rogue Squad are the second team to be eliminated here from the Messwark qualifiers. I was like a 100.